Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking. I'm truly grateful. If you are new to this channel, do me a favor, smash the subscribe button so we can grow this motorcycle vlogging journey together. So guys, quite simply in today's video, I'm going to change my motorcycle helmet for the first time in eight years. Let's go. So those who have been following my channel would have already seen this old helmet that I've rocked since 2015. So it's been eight years already and it's time to change it. Let me give you a bit of a background on this helmet. So I got this helmet, which is actually quite solid. I can't tell too much about the quality, but as you can see, it's got Benelli right there. It's got an Italian flag colors because Benelli is an Italian, originally Italian brand. And it's got Benelli written here as well. And I kind of like the design of this helmet. It looks uh, really, really cool. One of the things that attracted me to buying it in the first place. Uh, but it's just been so long and I just feel like it's time to move on to something new. Uh, reasons being, it's not as comfortable as it used to be and I've had to replace many, many parts. Um, so the cushion inserts, I've replaced them twice and each time it doesn't take too long before you have the leather giving way in this form. It just breaks easily. And um, I have to, I've had to change the in, internal cushions several times. And there was this reflector here when it was new, but it got dirty and really quickly because in the first couple of years that I had it, I didn't used to use this balaclava thing. Um, so it got dirty pretty quickly. And so I had to replace it with some kind of material here. And over time that is getting dirty as well. And uh, every now and then I take it out to wash, but as you keep washing it, it keeps getting weaker and weaker. The fibers keep getting weaker and weaker. And over time, the smell, it's not bad, but it's just, it just doesn't smell fresh anymore. And um, I kind of like it. Oh, and I've also replaced this windshield a few times because each time it dropped on the ground, there were many, many scratches and that made it really uncomfortable to, to ride it, to ride with. So I've had to um, replace this windshield several times. And uh, the helmet itself, the shell itself feels like it's made of good quality material, but this thing is just some flimsy screen, which does the work, but I just feel like it's time for it to take a rest. I'm not going to throw it away. I might have like every now and then I might have like a second rider with me on the bike. I'll just uh, prepare this one for emergency use. But I think that for my main helmet, it's time to move on to something more solid, which I would call an upgrade. So yeah, and I've always had this Bluetooth V Moto, which I've had since I think 2016 or 2017, and it's been reliable since. So yeah, that's the um, helmet. And one more thing, this helmet didn't have the cutout for Bluetooth. So my Bluetooth, as you can see, it doesn't stick properly inside because I have to maneuver in order to have it fit directly on my ear. Otherwise, when it hinges on one of the elongated parts of my ear, it's really painful when you ride in for long hours. So that's another downside of this particular helmet. So. With all these reasons, I decided, hey, why not? Let me move on to something new. So yeah, let me give you a closer look at the helmet. As you can see, it looks quite, well, not very bad, but it doesn't look too appealing. It's a shame that I put all these reflectors there and now I can't use it regularly. Like I said, I'm still going to keep this helmet for emergency or for a second passenger every now and then, but I'm moving on to something else for my main hel helmet. And switching helmets, another thing that's going to be annoying is re I've got extras of these stickers mounts for helmets, which I'll just install on the new one but I have to transfer all these 
Bluetooth system onto the new helmet. But speaking of new helmet, let's go and let me show you the new helmet that I grabbed this time. Ta-da! So guys, this is the helmet that I'm upgrading to. And it is, let's see, it is a Spanish brand. Um, it's a MT, it's MT from the MT brand of helmets. And this is MT Jarama. So Jarama is a remake of one of the original or maybe the first helmets that they made and it's ECE 22.06 approved apparently this is the new safety approval uh, the highest safety approval for helmets I don't have too much details about that and it says designed and produced by empty helmets right there and I chose XL pay my head size and it goes with this it says remember your why and overall the box looks really really cool so we're gonna go ahead and unbox this helmet right now so let's go ahead and unbox this thing guys so i'm just gonna do it like that it came in another package in another box which i already unboxed and took outside and this is the main box from factory and uh, there we have it nicely wrapped in this well not wrapped but nicely bagged in this sort of signature uh, helmet bag or cover if you want to call it which which is really nice right so let me just undo this and take off this helmet so we can see what it looks like All right, so this is out of the way. And this, ta -da -da. wow. Okay, before we look at a helmet, let's take a look at this paperwork. So there's some paperwork in here as usual. And um, yeah, we'll read that later. Not many people read manuals these days or instructions and wow. It looks much nicer than it looked in the photos. Okay, so as you can see, this is the helmet. It looks really nice in the flesh than when you see it in pictures. So as you can see, the old one is the glossy finish. And I would have preferred this in the glossy, but with this particular design, they didn't have a glossy version. They only had this smoked white mixed with black and gray sort of decals well they're not decals they're paints they're paints actually they are not stickers on their on the helmet but yeah i went for this vintage um design because i kind of liked it in the pictures and i'm liking it even more seeing it in the flesh it is really really nice and um let me just take you around so first of all yeah let's start from the front so you have this wide sort of windshield which is pretty standard for most motorcycle helmets. And one th neat feature that I like is it's got these air intake uh, inflows. And these are kind of like doors. So if you flip it up, you push it up on both sides, then it allows air into the helmet. And if you pull down these tabs, then it closes it. Now, when I open the visor, like so, you can see where the, the air goes into the helmet these nicely done sort of intakes really nice and you have this nose wind deflector and you've got some really nice leather as well on the inside and on the outside you've got this sort of um, I would call it kind of suede material we got black suede gray suede and you have this double D locking system I'm not really a fan of this double D locking system because I think when you're locking up your helmet and unlocking it, it might waste a few more seconds than just the, um, if I can show you the old one, than just the system that you just pull, this sort of system. I don't know if you can see it properly. The one that you just pull and just push back in. I think you know what I'm talking about. But this comes with a double D, which they say it's supposed to be safer, but I just feel like I prefer that system. But hey, it doesn't hurt to change. So yeah, um, take a look, closer look at the inside. You can see it's nicely, nicely padded inside. 
which is really, really nice. You got leather on the parts that are close to the shell and on the inside you've got the suede, soft suede material, which looks really, really good. The quality is up there, guys. I'm really, really liking it. And here it's also got these, I think, definitely air intakes. And on the bottom here, you might be able to see some vents in there. It's open and the mechanism to close and open is right here. So if I pull it down, open, close, open, close, which is really, really neat. And there is enough space here to mount your mouthpiece for your intercom system. So that is really, really amazing, guys. I'm liking this. The quality looks really good. Really nice. Sounds like ABS. This not sounds like it is. Well, let's see what, let's read what's here. So what we have here is, let's just see what is on this. So quality, quality control passed, empty helmets, drama. Remember your why. And this is some pieces of information about the windshield. So it's anti-scratch, quick release, 2.2 thickness, PC lens, and it's photochromatic, guys. How I understand this is, when you're in a sunny environment or you're riding outside and it's sunny, the screen is going to dim a little bit, kind of like sunglasses or shades. I don't know how far it goes, but we'll test it and see. And it's pin lock ready, guys. So for those foggy days, I can easily buy, I can easily buy an anti-fog and install it because it's got pin lock right there. And I got extra extra large XL and yeah product tested by A plus Idiada designed by empty helmets in Europe so yeah guys this is the helmet that I got it's sort of this vintage um, has this vintage look someone would say you ride an adventure or Honda CB 500X which is kind of like a mini adventure bike why did you go in for a vintage helmet well, I think for me, safety is number one and then how you feel about the helmet. So, yeah, I think it's really, really nice in my opinion. What do you think, guys? Leave your comments in the comment section. And the mechanism that opens this helmet is so easy. It's like, it's right from here. Pull it up. And it's so easy, guys. It's got many stages, but they're all very, very soft to reach. You don't need too much power. And another thing that I think will work really well for wind, stopping wind from ent entering the helmet is the seals. The seals here, that seal the windshield to the helmet. They're kind of like those soft seals you have on car doors. So I'm sure it's gonna do a really good job stopping too much wind from getting in your helmet. But hey, we can only know how effective it is when we do, when I do the writing. So yeah. Yeah, and let's go now and peel off the, ooh, this is always a satisfying moment for anyone who is unveiling anything new. So let's go and do this. All right, so I'm just gonna peel it slowly. Ah. Yes, that's so satisfying, guys. What do you think? I think it looks amazing. Now, this helmet looks very different from many conventional helmets because the chin part looks a little bit wider, but I'm sure design-wise, it's for more air to circulate in the helmet. It's not about the looks, it is about the safety. So, yeah. And before I forget, I've got this in China on discount for 508, 540 RMB or Chinese Yuan plus 40 RMB um, courier or ship, shipping. So 580 RMB, that's about, that's less than $100. So yeah, if, if you do the math, you know how much it comes up to That's But that's, that's less than $100. So let's go and put this helmet on and see how it feels. It's still new. I don't know if I'll return it. So I'm just gonna So this is how I wear my helmets. 
first I cover my head and then after I put on the helmet I pull down all right let's do this ah oh, here yeah. it is so satisfying guys it feels so good on the head I don't know what you think but yeah I, f I think I feel like How does it look guys? Yeah. Now I can readjust my bandana or balaclava. And that's how I look in the helmet. Yeah, and when I shake my head from side to side, from front to back, it's not heavy at all. Um, I haven't looked at the how heavy it is but it's definitely it's definitely a little bit lighter than my previous helmet and I need to get used to this double D lock system but yeah with time it, everything becomes easier but yeah guys this is the helmet and how it looks like and I feel I feel like I made the right choice in terms of the size it just feels perfect it doesn't wobble about it doesn't press my head it's just perfect so yeah let's take another look let me just turn around slowly so you can see how it looks on my head just turn my back on the left and back to the front so yeah guys this is a helmet taking it off and yeah it feels feels really really comfortable ah, okay guys so yeah that's the empty drama and i just want to quickly show you another cool system if you want to take off the windshield for cleaning or for replacing with maybe a darker visor or for whatever reason you it's got this D lock system so you pull this tab outward like so and then you can twist it and off it goes you get this off and that's it guys it's off it's not one of those old system springs where you have to really use a screwdriver to dig in to push some lever before you can take it off this one is it's a very easy easy process so if i'm going to put it back i just pick up the the lock here insert it properly get it aligned and then twist it and lock amazing guys amazing i like it I hope I can use this helmet for many many years because nobody wants nobody wants to get a crash so yeah although you would want to know how safe the helmet is you obviously don't want to crash so yeah I hope I never get to see how efficient it is but riding and knowing that I've got good protection on my head so that's the MT Jerama helmet which is gradually becoming popular especially for people who will like this sort of design and yeah one last thing I want to mention here is easy fit glasses so it's got special groove for glasses um, right here uh, this is just a sticker to inform you so yeah wearing glasses you can just slide them in here there's a the space here provided for it and it's gonna be hard to see but it's got oh okay oh yeah there's provision made for provision made for Bluetooth headphones but it's covered by this temporary sort of pad that you take out and insert your bluetooth as you can see there's the space there's a cutout right there which already has a sticker um, that's cool yeah and on the other side as well but if you're not using a bluetooth sticker then you can just leave this pad in 
but if you're using Bluetooth headsets, then you can quickly and easily install the earphones here. So all right guys, so that's the end of this video. I just wanted to show you the new Drama helmet, which maybe many people don't know about. It looks really, really cool. If you're into this design, kind of rounded style of helmets. In terms of aerodynamics, I only know how it feels when I do my first ride in this helmet. So what I'm gonna do next is something very basic that anyone can do. Um, right after this video, I'm gonna install, I'm gonna transfer my Bluetooth system from my old helmet to this new helmet so that I can do my first ride. All right guys, so we've come to the end of this video. I just wanted to show you the new, new helmet that I purchased for riding. And I'm really excited for another um, many years to come. So thank you so much for watching. If this is your first time seeing my video, I have tons of videos on my channel on motorcycle vlogging. So subscribe to the channel and take a look at the videos. And when you do, hit the notification bell. So when I upload new videos, you'll be notified as one of the first. Don't forget to like the video. Likes go a long way to help the channel grow. And uh, share your comments if you have a Jerama helmet or if you are considering getting one. So once again, thank you so much for watching. Till I see you in the next video, guys. Ride legal, ride safe. Oh, peace.